Introducing Happy Life Organics, a leading pet care brand. Happy Life Organics offers natural, organic, all-natural plant-based pet products. Like waterless shampoo, an easy, fast-to-use, on-the-go, hassle-free pet shampoo. No water needed, just spray on, lather, and wipe. 2-in-1 pet shampoo and conditioner, double-acting, naturally moisturizing, cleansing, soothing, and insect repelling. Pet Home Cleanser Did you know that using bleach can be fatal to our pets? Worry no more! Pet Home Cleanser is a safer, plant-based alternative to clean any pet areas, cages, toys, and other things. It effectively disinfects and removes any pet odors and insects at bay. Pet Spray It's your quick go-to plant solution for our pets to safely eliminate ticks, fleas, odor, and any itching they may have. Perfect for the before and after walks. Pet Neem Soap contains the active neem ingredient, a medicated soap that has antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. Pet Birth Control Center Foundation, of course, our main project is the neuter clinic, which is, of course, we are still asking for more funds for us to be able to finish our neuter clinic. We are 60% into completion, but um, due to our lack of funding, um, we are still asking for your help.
Okay, good morning. Did you get a pet to help you get through the lockdowns? Type me if this is you. Are you bothered by the number of stray dogs going around your neighborhood? Type me if this is you. Are you one of those fur parents who want to go on a staycation but don't want to leave their pets behind? Type me if this is you. Before we start Business Mirror's Coffee Club session, here's Bim Mauricio, one of Business Mirror's account executive and our giveaway diva who will give you an idea of what to expect this morning. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. Now, we are going to make your morning worthwhile by giving you giveaway packs and special surprises and special giveaways, of course. Up for grabs today are 10 gifts from Happy Life Organics, one Savoy overnight stay at Maktan, Luke, that's Maktan Cebu, and also unlimited dim sum for two packs for lunch or dinner at Shintian B Restaurant at the Crown Plaza Hotel. And we are giving away two Winford F&B gift certificates worth 2,000 pesos. So do you want to get any of the giveaways? Sure, okay, I can hear them. Okay, simply type hashtag BM your pet and you in the comment box and you will be qualified to get any of the giveaways. We will also be announcing later the 10 photos who got the most likes in our you and your pet photo contest. So stay tuned, so stay tuned for that. Good morning. Okay, thank you, Bim, for that preview of what to expect this morning. Today, we have three very special guests, a veterinarian and two hoteliers. I am your host, Andrew De La Cruz, Special Projects Editor of Business Mirror, and you are watching Business Mirror's Coffee Club. For those who are new to our online show, the Business Mirror Coffee Club delivers to you newsmakers and game changers to help Filipinos excel in, bis in their business finance, work, and lifestyle. This morning, let's talk about pets. The title of our episode today is Looking After Your Pet and You. Before we start, let's give away the first five Happy Life gift packs. Before that, allow me to acknowledge our sponsors for this morning. Twin Lakes Hotel, Savoy Hotel Mactan Newton, Holiday Inn, Crown Plaza Hotel, and Happy Life Organics. Bim, do we already have the first five winners? And please tell us what are the contents of this gift pack from Happy Life. Okay, so the gift pack contains Happy Life. This is, um, let me see, a waterless shampoo. Okay, and we also have Happy Life pet shampoo and conditioner. And a Happy Life organic pet home cleanser. Okay. Are we ready for the five winners? Are, Are we... you writing down your hashtags, everyone? It should be hashtag BM, your pet, and you. Our five winners. Are you ready? Okay. Can I see? You guys showing off your pets, your photo with your pets down in the comment section. New. The five winners are, is it here, Miss Anne? Let me see. Can we, are we going to draw, Ed? Okay, okay. Ed will help us with draw. I'm seeing hashtags and more of yeah. it. More hashtags, please. Okay. Yeah, the more hashtags you make, the bigger your chance of winning. We want to thank our sponsors again and acknowledge them. The Twin Lakes Hotel, Savoy Hotel, Mactan, Newtown, The mm. Holiday Inn, Crown yeah. Plaza Hotel, Happy Life Organics. Our five winners. Is it ready? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, the Oy. winner is, the first one is Anna Mae Casabuena. Congratulations. Second. Cheska Kanasa. Congratulations, Miss Cheska. We have three more. You'll get Happy Life Organics gift pack. Vines. Vines Carmela, congratulations. You're the third raffle winner. And the fourth winner is... Rose Nunez Palmian. 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 Okay. Congratulations. The last one for now. We have Andrea Sopera. Okay, congratulations to our first five winners. Please tell us. What are the contents? Oh, okay. So please make sure to send us a PM with your contact information. Also, don't forget, everyone to just who, jo who just joined in, please use the hashtag BM, your pet and you, in the comments for a chance to get very special giveaways later. Thank you. Thank you, Bim. And if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mrs. Mirror Official. Click the bell button and like this video. We also have a Facebook page, Business Wearer. Click the like button and then click those three dots. Then click the follow settings. Without further ado, let me introduce to you our guest for this morning. Our first guest is Dr. Mase Liquanan, a veterinarian and the founder of the Philippine Pet Birth Control Center Foundation. Good morning, Dr. Mase. Hi, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Okay. Our next, our next guest, I was told, cleared out his schedule this morning so that he could talk about the pet-friendly facilities at Savoy Hotel, Mactan, Newtown. He is Mr. Joseph Victor A. Chongbian, the general manager of Savoy Hotel, Mactan, Newtown. Good morning, GM. Hello, Anne. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Yeah, we're doing great. Hope you are, Thank too. You so okay. Doing very are well. We Thank you. Yes, great. Our third guest also represents another pet-friendly hotel. Here is Ms. Rowena Samonte, the Director for Sales and Marketing of Twin Lakes Hotel. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Bim, Jim Jot, and the Tora Mase. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so let's start the ball ro rolling with Dr. Mase. Dr. Mase, can you give us a little background about the Philippine Bet Pet Birth Control Center Foundation? and the PPBCC Hospital and Philippine Feline Center. Yeah, first I want to I want to talk about our foundation. It is the Philippine Pet Birth Control Center Foundation. So, um we founded um PPBCC last 2017 and our main goal is to help the government eradicate rabies by humanely controlling dog and cat population. Now, rabies is in, still endemic here in the Philippines, and we, and we are one of the few countries that still have rabies cases. And um, in reality, uh, human vets, um, Filipinos die of rabies every year. 200 to 300 Filipinos die of rabies every year. And that is because of the uncon uncontrolled dog and cat population here in our country. So one of our advocacy is to provide a low-cost paying neuter program. And one of our programs also is we are also free for indigent pet owners. And we do our services for free for the local government units. We have been all over the Philippines since 2017. Mm -hmm. And um, we also conduct free training for quick spay neuter for veterinarians here in our country. Okay, so you've been in operation since 2017. Tama ba? Yes, we've been. So how many are officially? So how many pets have you been? Have you already neutered during that period? Since 2017, um, around 140,000 already, and I have started our, my advocacy since I was um, seven years in practice. I've been in practice now for 20 years. 
Mm-hmm. So I guess we've done a lot and um, we have a great team of veterinarians um, in our facility. So every day, that's what we do. We do spay and neuter. Okay. And you also, you're also setting up a hospital? I, currently, we have a PPBCC Veterinary Hospital. Mm-hmm. It's a dog and cat hospital located in 155 Bonnie Avenue. So that's one of our main sources of funding for our foundation and also we have the philippine feline center cat hospital it mm-hmm. is located in san juan so it is a hospital dedicated only for cats oh yeah okay. so pero the one the hospital you have in bonnie that's for all animals or only for dogs and cats? it's for all animals uh, okay. and Why also we'll be yeah we'll be coming up with our rima animal veterinary hospital so uh-huh. Um, please watch out for that. So we are currently expanding to cater to our growing market. Mm-hmm. And of course, um, we are hoping by, that by doing that, we can be able to sustain our foundation. I'm just curious, why did, did you set up a uh, no, uh, really sole center for cats? Well, actually, um, there is there has been a great um, increase in cat ownership. So... Um, especially during the pandemic, many people yes. um, got their pets, especially cats who are more uh, who requires lesser maintenance um, other than dogs. Mm-hmm. And um, we are very um, happy because um, people now are starting to own not just dogs or cats with breeds, but also aspins and pustins. Mm, okay, and. Um, how, what sort of services do you offer po in your host, in your hospital there in Bonnie? Uh, we are we offer a complete range of veterinary services for our dogs and cats. Okay, and how if we want to do a uh, neutering, if we have a campaign to do neutering and spaying of the cats, how can we get in touch with you, Doctora? Yes, um, you can call um, 5621111 and our, our, our clinic is located at, for the Philippine Pet Birth Control Center Foundation. We are located in Katarungan Street. Um, you can check out our Facebook page. Um, for the month, for the whole month of April, we have a promo. Um, for the neutering of male cats, it's just 350 and for female cats, it's just 500. 500. Mas mahal talaga ang females. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So and, this is what we do, no? We want people to be educated more on um, by spaying and neutering your pet. It's not just um, we are doing our pets um, something for their health, no? Because um, when we do neuter or spaying on our pets, we, we lessen the risk of cancer and other and other illnesses. But um, it is our social responsibility. We really have an increasing number. We have we, we really have a, a problem in our dog and cat population. So um, but by doing so, we are doing our social responsibility of mm-hmm. lessening the number of um, stray dogs and cats here in the Philippines. Okay. Do you also rescue stray dogs and cats? Yes, yes, yes. We also do rescue for dogs and cats. And... Um, our facility is also located at Katarungan Street, and um, yeah, we do rescues, and um, we will soon be coming up with a shelter in Cavita, so we will be announcing it soon. Okay. Are the dogs that you rescue, uh, are they, can they be adopted by yes, those who are yes, interested? Yes. Uh-huh. So what, yes, who are, yes. ano yung mga dogs po na rescue nyo recently? Uh, marami. We rescue Aspen and Postpins every day. And um, please watch out our, for our uh, announcement on our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Um, we will be coming up with an adoption program. And um, okay. hopefully many people will be interested to join mm-hmm. us there. In our efforts to have our, uh, of our, uh, in our efforts for our rescues to have their forever homes. Mm, okay. See good. So how many, would you know how many do you have right now under your care? Right now, I think we have 120 <laughs> or more. And yes, our many? director, um, Ms. Rina Ortiz, um, does all the rescues and I do all the spay neuter. Dr. Uh-huh. Jordan um, heads the um, spay neuter facility. So yeah, it's a team effort for all of us. Mm-hmm. So madami na pala. 
treatment yes. team. And then, can you also give us uh, tips on how we can look after our pets, especially in, in the heat of, in this heat that we're experiencing right now? Yes. So, of course, we have to um, be responsible when taking out our pets. Um, go for morning walks or late afternoon walks. And um, one thing that I would I want to um, share with our pet owners who are watching right now is um, for us to be proactive. For example, um, please take um, the vaccination and the, the roaming program of your pets seriously because um, it is really um, less cheaper you know, to have a preventive care rather than addressing the disease already. So yes. um, we listen to your veterinarian. So don't be, don't just Google or, or anything. Um, find a veterinarian that you can trust and can be able to um, explain to you on how, to, how you will be able to take care of your pets um, properly. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Masay. We'll get back to you later again huh, if we have any additional yes. questions. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Before we move on to GM Joe and Ms. Owen, Bim, do we have the second batch of winners for the okay. Healthy Life gift pack? Okay, are you ready for the second batch of winners? So get this Happy Life Organic Special Pack. Okay, let us see. Can we start the raffle again for the five? gift packs thank you so much for our sponsors while we await the raffle draw okay thank you sponsors for today the savoy hotel mactan newtown happy life organics twin lakes hotel and of course, the Crown Plaza Hotel and Holiday Inn Galleria. Are you ready, Sir Ed? Okay, here's our second batch of winners. Please, if you get, okay, if you win, please send us a PM with your contact details. For others who just joined, don't forget to use or type the hashtag BM your pet and you so that you can get the chance to win special packages. Okay, next. Okay, the first winner is Angel or oh, the sixth winner. I mean, mm -hmm. okay, Angel. Wow, what a nice, unique name. I don't know. Winiver. Winiver. Blanche. Congratulations. The seventh winner is. She Lavis Soriano. Congratulations, ma'am. And Miss M. Alquinto. Congratulations. You have Happy Life Organics package. Last two. Christian Angelo, congratulations. And last one, Mayreen Pelobello, congratulations, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much, Bim. Okay, GM Jot, good morning. Please tell us about Savoy Hotel Mactan Newtown. Hi, Miss Anne, good morning. Mahayong Muntag. Hello. Yes, Can, you Hello. Hello. Can you tell us nice about the facilities here? Yes. Yes. Anyway, Savoy Hotel Mactan Newtown is one of the 11 properties of Mega World Hotels and Resorts. And currently, Miss Anne, we are the only pet-friendly hotel here in the island of Mactan. So to all of our viewers, while you all of you are planning for the perfect weekend getaway, always remember that your best friend needs a vacation too. That's true. <laughs> Very <laughs> true. Miss Owen, how about there at Twin Lakes? Good morning, Miss Anne. Um, Twin Lakes Hotel is located in Tagaytay na Subu Highway um, mm -hmm. in Laurel, Batangas. We have 122 rooms mm -hmm. and we have allocated some of the rooms as pet friendly rooms. Okay. So, can you tell us what made the hotel management decide to make uh, these two hotels? pet friendly 
Miss Owen, there is with us. Yes, Filipinos are natural pet lovers. Almost everyone I know uh, grew, grew up with a pet or two. As anyone who grew up with pets would say, a home without a pet is almost unthinkable. So over the years, pets have, has, have become an important part of the family. Mm -hmm. Based on the, the uh, statistics, 65% of the residents said having pets around help uh, build social connections. And 49% of residents said they are more likely to visit the business that are pet friendly. Mm -hmm. In 2017 to 2018, there was an 11% increase in a pet registration. And from 2017 to 2021, there's a significant increase in the registration up to about 59% increase. So, and uh, one of the considerations of the Filipino people uh, when leaving the household, they really worry about their pets. So yes. they cannot... Um, that emotionally detached from their fur babies for a longer um, time. So we thought of uh, offering pet-friendly um, rooms. Um, and I believe that um, there's a niche market for pet-friendly hotels. So when I joined Twin Lakes, um, I recommended to our general manager to make Twin Lakes a pet-friendly hotel. And after six months of joining, um, and after all the preparations and consultation within, we opened our doors to four babies. Mm -hmm. Okay. A uh, GM Jot, how is it there in ano, in Mactan? Well, it's a totally different story here, Miss Anno. Um, we yeah. transitioned to a pet-friendly facility early of last year. It was in January 2020 when immediately we just decided to transition into one. Uh, the reason why we decided to do this is that um, we always start our day with a morning huddle with different um, our department heads. And our front office manager just pitched in, in the idea and said, GM, you know what? We've been receiving a lot of calls asking if we accept dogs or cats inside our hotel. And this inquiry kept on coming, no? especially after the pandemic when we started opening our doors to the public. And then that's when I realized that all the department heads loved the idea. I realized that 100% of our department heads are pet owners and all in all all our staff here in Savoy Hotel Mactan I would say an average of 80 percent are pet lovers as well so when we pitched in the idea everybody just, just got so excited and then one thing is that the entire Mactan Newtown no Savoy Hotel is just part of the entire estate of Mactan Newtown who also mm -hmm. happened to be a pet friendly um estate or a pet friendly uh place already and we also have an access to the Mactan Newtown Beach who also allows pets. So I think it was the perfect time for us to transition. And it was we were able to get a lot of bookings immediately when we rolled out. And transitioning was very easy. And the reason of which is that we have a lot of pet lovers here in the hotel. So uh, a lot of a lot of our staff pitch in great ideas. And once again, we rolled it out in less than a month. Mm, okay. What sort of facilities do you have for the pets there in hmm. In Subway Correct. Hotel. Just like what Ms. Owen mentioned earlier, uh, we do have a, a specific floor allocated for pet-friendly uh, floor. It, 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 it's up on the third floor where our amenities are. It's pretty mm -hmm. close to the pool. It's pretty close to our patio. And the patio is our outdoor dining area where we welcome <laughs> our guests who can dine with their pets as well. So this, this area during the day serves as a play area for the pets. And aside from that, we always encourage, like what I mentioned earlier, the entire Mata Newtown Estate mm -hmm. is a friend family facility. And we encourage all our guests to go around, visit the beach, and of, of course, other amenities. Uh, we did try to offer some treats, Miss Anne, like treats or mm -hmm. maybe some toys that we can offer to the dogs. But we, we learned this the wrong way. There are a lot of guests who are so particular on what we give to their dogs. Uh, okay. We learned it the wrong way. So it was so easy for us. Hi, welcome to Savoy Hotel Matan. Here are some treats. Like, oh, I never realized it was a no-no for some pet owners. <laughs> so we do have those treats available here in the hotel if the pet owners allows. But other uh -huh. than that, I realized that most of the pet owners who stays in the hotels bring their own bring food their and water in their pets. Uh -huh. But aside from that, just to make it easier, you know, just for our guests to have an extra space on their bags, we already uh -huh. provide by the pet, the the food bowls and water bowls for their pet. It's available in all outlets, just in case they need one. Okay. See, Dr. Ramamase was laughing when you were talking about the food. Maybe you can I share know. some tips with them. <laughs> I'm sure she has stories to share about that. Treats that can be dogs. 
orders can become it. very particular now. Yeah, so um, there are some specialty diets available for pets. And some are, of course, allergic to some ingredients. So pet owners are really, really into their pet's nutrition nowadays. So it, that is very good. And um, I think with the increasing, um, increasing knowledge or their learning on what is the best um, nutrition for the pets, I think that's, uh, you know, that's a good way. But of course, I, that's very thoughtful of your hotel to consider that. But um, really, most pet owners are very sensitive with their, with the, with their pets' um, diet. So I guess, <laughs> yeah, you learned the hard way. <laughs> we did. I, feel, I felt so yeah. bad, but it's okay. <laughs> so are there any safe uh, treats that the hotels can offer to their pet guests? Um, basically, um, those that are made with um, real meat are really safe, you know, like cheese, um, baked chicken, baked uh, liver. So those mm -hmm. are the thing. Those are the food that are really um, safe for pets. But of course, if you can um, actually put a label on it that it's safe for pets, maybe your guests will really allow for, will allow their pets to consume it. <laughs> Oh yeah, GM. <laughs> you already have a few tips. I know. Yeah, I hope I met a dog. Yes. I really hope and, I um, met a dog last year. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I really agree with you. Now, um, people now want um, treat treat their pet, treat their pets as part of their family. So they really um, consider that when they when they when they're going out of the uh, out of the, um, the city. And um, they really consider hotels that are really pet friendly because they they want to enjoy their moments with them. Mm -hmm. And Miss Owen, how is it there in Twin Lakes? Do you have a pool, especially for your pet kids, or any exclusive areas for them there? Um, are the pets uh, the fur babies are allowed um, to go to the pool deck? Uh, they can. Uh, the fur parents can also dine with their pets um, in al fresco, uh -huh. uh, so they can enjoy um, their meals whenever they're staying with us. Okay. We also have a botanical garden where, where they can do a um, leisure walk because we encourage them to bring their pets um, in the garden in the around the estate. Um, mm -hmm. To do especially for early morning walks, um, mm -hmm. that's the activity that we um, encourage them to do. Okay, I saw Ed was flashing a question. Nasan na yun Ed? I think that was for ano. Wait lang ah, uh, I may question na po kanina. Discrimination. I can't find it. Nasan yun Ed? <laughs> I think it was about Aspin. Yes, yes, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that question. Nasaan Wait. <laughs> Hinahanap ko sa dami ng comments. Ayan, I saw it. Here, here, here. Ayan. I know, here. Ayan. What can you say about breed discrimination, especially towards Aspins? Is this contributing to the local overpopulation, Dr. Mase? Yes, I would say that... Um, it is all. It is really a contributing factor to the local um, dog, dogs overpopulation. Now. But um, if we will consider the number of stray dogs and cats here in the Philippines, it is really impossible to really have them adopted out all. Even if there are so many animal welfare advocates that are willing to adopt aspins or pospins, um, hindi talaga kaya. There are so many. And regarding with uh, dogs with breeds, um, I'm not anti-breeding you know i support um responsible um dog and cat breeders in fact i have dogs and cats with breeds but i don't breed them but i don't um discriminate um we are in no position to discriminate a dog with breed or an with an aspen so there's really no comparison with the aspen and a dog with breed because they're both dogs or they're both cats it's just that our um, it's just that um, we have to correct our perception that they, they have definite um, that they are different 
Mm-hmm. Actually, they are both dogs, right? So we are trying to um, remove that uh, mentality of Filipinos that um, if it is a dog with breed, you, you treat it specially. But mm-hmm. you'll be surprised now, no? Um, many of our patients are Aspens and Puspins, and they are um, well taken care of and loved by their owners. So they are receiving the same amount of. Um, mm-hmm treatment that uh, that that a dog with breed would um would have so um it's really a nice transition for us filipinos that um we are now um considering aspens and puspins um with i know over the ones that have uh breed and uh, i think it's slowly we can change that mindset of filipinos Mm -hmm. okay um gm jot what sort of guidelines do you give to your guests uh, when they check in with their uh, no, fur babies? What are your guidelines? Great. Thank you so much for bringing that, Miss Anna. What we usually do that is that we always encourage our guests you know, to inform us prior they arrive to the hotel, just to make sure that we, all the documents are there already and they won't take much time lining up inside the hotel. Because as much as possible, it's the best of both worlds. No? We want to make the experience pleasant for both pet lovers and those checking in without their pets. So basically, the guidelines that we do is that aside from the regular check-in procedure that you do in your normal check-in, no, we also have like a pet agreement form just to make sure that all the details of the threat that you bring in are there. And aside mm-hmm. from that, we have to make sure that the veterinary cards are present when they check in as well. Just to make sure that the dogs are very well um, uh, are vaccinated. So mm-hmm. all the details, all the documents necessary. So basically, that's it. We don't have, we don't require that much of documents as long as it's ready. So basically, that's what we do. We encourage all our guests to send all the details prior to check in, so that the, the check in procedure will be smooth and fast. Okay, is that the same there, Miss Owen, in Twin Lakes? Yes, uh, we also have a pet agreement form that we mm-hmm. send to our clients. It's also available in the website, so they would know. Um, the reg- the rules and regulations when bringing pets uh, we require vaccination cards also not only from our fur parents but also from the fur fur babies okay. okay i have another question here for doctora masse i have a 10 year old chihuahua not yet spayed napansin ko na meron siya small lump near sa private part niya na cater din ba kayo spay for old dogs na pwede isabay ang removal ng bukol, ask ko din if safe pa ba kahit senior dog na? Well, for a senior dog, of course, you would require for, um, a complete checkup, meaning we will do blood works, x-rays, so that we can be able to determine the extent of the of the lump or the mass so we can address it properly. But yes, we can spay a 10-year-old chihuahua as long as... Um, the blood works are okay and there's not there's no there's no other pre-existing conditions and but yes um, there's really actually no limit um with spay because some of the disease conditions are associated with um having an intact dog an intact dog meaning it is not yet spayed or needed thank you dr amase you're welcome yeah uh gm jot um Yes, Ma'am. Uh, lahat ng hotels meron silang clinic para sa mga tao. Yes, meron din ba kayong clinic then for your pet guests? Thank you so much for bringing that up. We don't have the clinic here inside the hotel, but we do have a partner veterinary uh, clinic just nearby, just nearby just the hotel. Nearby. So just in case of uh, emergency. Mm-hmm. That's correct. For emergency, we have a nearby pet hospital as well. So it's very convenient. So okay. that's why I encourage most of the pet owners to stay with us. So you have nothing to worry about. Uh, the pet clinic oh, yes. nearby is open 24-7. If you kung dito ka lang lang sa malapit, sorry. <laughs> No, that's Owen. a reason for you to visit Cebu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Diyan po sa, sa may twin lakes, Miss Owen, meron din. Um, we have on-call veterinarians, but we okay. don't have in-house. Ah, okay. Another question for Dr. Masse from our Chinese friend. What is the ideal age to spay a female dog? Yes, if it's uh, for a female dog... Um, we recommend spaying them as early as one year of age. 
But of course, um, it, it depends on how responsible you are. But if you can wait for like one and a half years of age, that is okay. But um, if you think that um, a one year, your one year old uh, female dog needs to be spayed, yeah, we can spay a one year old dog. Okay. Uh, do we have to make an appointment with the clinic or we can just drop by? Um, we are now accepting walk-ins, but it is better to um, go to our Facebook page mm -hmm. and then register. We have a link there for the whole month of May. Mm -hmm. um, you can pre-register there. It will be more convenient for you. It will be more easier for you. Um, the waiver forms and the consent forms are there already. And yes, um, please check out our Facebook page. It is PPBCC, Philippine Pet Birth Control Center Foundation. Mm, okay, so that's interesting. Um, would you know, uh, GM Jot, if the other um, the other Mega World facilities will also become pet friendly, Nadin? Definitely, they're uh, looking into that. Uh, we we brought out the idea. We already wrote out the guidelines, not to make it easy for other properties to roll it out as well. So Twin Lakes Hotel at Savoy Hotel Maktan New Town is just a start. That we encourage mm -hmm. our partners in Boracay already. There's two hotels, both uh, Savoy Hotel Boracay and Belmont Hotel Boracay. They will be transitioning anytime soon. So mm -hmm. they will be the next two hotels who will be transitioning, and we're convincing already our partners in Manila to do that as well. But there's a lot, a lot, a lot to expect within the Mega World Hotels and Resorts group. You'll be surprised. I can, I can imagine. Sa dami niyo, sir. Eh. Meron yeah. tayo sa pagtanong. Um, there's another question here, Doctor Masayan. What is the ideal age to spay a uh, female? I bet female cat naman ito to. Sorry. There's one about the uh, no, eh, the cat. The cat naman, Dr. Mase. When when is the yeah, ideal age to spay a cat? We start um spaying uh at six months of age for cats, yes. Mm, okay. Okay, and then um uh, well, just to add no, um we've been doing a lot in Cebu. Um we just we just stopped during the pandemic. We've been in Cebu like um, eight times already under the city veterinarian Dr. Alice Itlang and um, Dr. Jess now the city veterinarian. So Cebu has been actively um, controlling dog and cat population by spaying and neuter. So Cebu um, um, Cebu City is re really doing a great job. On your next activity, Doc Masse, please let us know. We'd be very I happy to support. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. okay, from Maricel Valdez Dava, does spaying affect life expectancy? Um, yes, but um, it, it has many contributing factors. Um, of course, um, when you spay or neuter your dog, um, the likelihood of having a pet having pyometra or um, um, cancers um, related to the reproductive system becomes low but um, with the life expectancy um, it re it's really the nutrition and how you take care of your pets that's um, that will determine the life expectancy with um, spaying and neutering what we will just be um, um, removing is the threat of it having a pyometra or having cancer associated with the reproductive system so it still be up to your pet and usually um surprisingly um the life expectancy of your pet um, really um um it's really nutrition and um, uh, um lifestyle just mm -hmm. like in humans <laughs> just like humans okay uh miss owen how much are your packages there in twin lakes if they if our guests decide to bring their her babies with them uh, Twin Lakes Hotel is offering for getaway. It's at eleven thousand six hundred, but it includes a lot of. Uh, um, there are a lot of inclusions like breakfast for two. Uh, we also give massage for two persons, uh, wave pet fee, and also dining credit at Twin Lakes Cafe worth one thousand. So there's really value for money uh, in the for getaway package that we offer at Twin Lakes Hotel. How about there uh, at the uh, no? At the Hotel Savoy in Maktan. 
Uh, thank you, Ms. Anne. For our for Savoy Hotel Magtan, it's different. Uh, we offer we don't have as exclusive package for a pet friendly package. What we usually do is that you can avail any any package that you can see online or you can walk in. As there's just an additional uh, pet fee. Uh, we start at our, just uh, it's not huge. It just starts at five hundred pesos. That already includes the clearing, uh, the the room cleaning and all. So basically, that's it. You can just avail any package. That once you avail of that specific package, just let us know. And just there's just a little add-on for a pet pet cleaning fee. Okay. Do the pets have their own beds? <laughs> we, we offer it too. We offer it too. Again, uh, we learned that the hard way. We don't just offer it like set it up in their rooms, right? Because they were all very particular. So we have it available once once they request, we can set it up in the rooms. Ah, okay, thank you. Oh, oh ganyan din, uh, Miss Owens, uh, Twin Lakes. It's a fun request, although most of our guests, they bring their own. Okay. Uh, another question here for Dr. Mase. Can a male and female sibling mate? <laughs> Hi, Miss Tessanary. Hi. See you in ANR. ANR also is a pet-friendly hotel, uh, pet-friendly resort in Batanga. So, um, no, um, it is not advisable for a male and female sibling to mate. Ah, okay. Why? Yes. Why? They miss asking um, why. <laughs> I, um, because there's a, uh, there's, there can be a complication like um, genetic, um, there can be a genetic problem mm -hmm. or um, it is really not advisable to uh, have a male and female sibling mate. Uh, okay. Mostly, like for, uh, mostly because of the congenital defects that it may produce. Mm, okay, I see. Anything else? Do we have any other? Uh, no? Do we have any other questions? Any other questions? Pa it? Ah, yeah, ito. Tinatanong ni Ah, uh, here. Sin sa tinatanong ni Miss Princess Ocampo. Do the beds for the pets have extra charge? <laughs> uh, yes. Can I answer that question? No, it yes, doesn't have extra. As, as long as you already pay the the uh, pet fee, the, the the cost of the bed is waived. You don't have okay. to pay for it. It's part of the package. Okay, ganun din po sa Twin Lakes. No, I presume. This way. Yes, but it's subject to availability. Definitely. Oh, talaga may may demand din pala. Yes. <laughs> Very oh, yes. <laughs> so how is the ano capacity now in the in your hotels? Miss Owen, marami bang pisita ngayon naka check in with your with their pets? Uh, yes, actually we uh, we have welcome around 100 600 uh, for babies already in Three Lakes wow. since we open our doors to them um, last March 2021 last year. Mm -hmm. How about their uh, GM job? Uh, for Savoy Again, it's different here in the in Mactan, no? We have a lot of guests bringing in their pet, checking in, especially in weekends on Saturdays and Sundays. And we only limit it. No? We only limit it because of the space that we have in our uh, mm -hmm. lobby. We limit it at least 10 in a day. Ah, uh, okay. So you have a limit. Yeah, we do have a limit because I like what I mentioned earlier. We have a, a floor dedicated for pets, no? And we have 10 rooms for that uh, pet friendly. Basically, we will limit it. Okay. Do you welcome other pets other than uh, dogs very and cats? Good, very good question. You know what, Miss Anne, especially during the pandemic, while people were on quarantine, a lot of people were, you know, requesting for so many things, even the size of their dogs. We uh -huh. always require a lap dog. That's it. And they say, okay, I have an Aspen and it fits perfectly on my lap. You know what? So we're very flexible in those cases. So, of course, the size of the dogs were very flexible. Other than that, like I, we're not encouraging it, but of course, just to have on the anxiety, especially yeah. during the pandemic, while well, people during that time, I'm talking about last year, mm -hmm. they were just really wanted somebody for companion no, inside their rooms. They're staying in the room for an average of 10 days to 14. Okay. Uh, we were able to welcome rabbits and guinea pigs as well. We did. Okay. We did discourage them to do that, but of course, we want to make their plans stay pleasant. As long as they stay inside their cage, then there's no problem. But they we made the guests very fully aware that if anything happens to the room, especially with the carpet or in the beds, well, there's additional fee for that. But okay. we did. We did go to that extent just to make their stay pleasant during that time, but not anymore. Okay, <laughs> Let's take the dogs and cats for now. Okay. Because there are some who have exotic pets, so are they allowed like snakes, 
Uh, I think there's some also have lizards. <laughs> Will they be welcome eventually? Mm, I don't think it's even safe to bring it out of their houses. No? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and si Clinton Blanco is asking, how many dogs are allowed to check in in one room? For Savoy Hotel Matan, again, it depends on the size of the mm -hmm. uh, of the uh, of the dog. But on an average, it's one one dog or one one dog or cat per room. Okay. How about there in Twin Lakes, Miss Ho Miss Owen? In Twin Lakes, we allow a maximum of two dogs or two cats per room. Okay. Pero no exotic pets. <laughs> <laughs> Not, Not for now. Not for okay. now. Uh, Doctor uh Wait. Ah, here. Is it safe for dogs with different sizes to mate? As Myrene, Pelo, Bello, Sipion. Well, if the difference in the size is significant, it is not advisable. Mm -hmm. not that's advisable. how, um, in, that's where the difficulty in pregnancies or in gestation or yung panganganak itself mm -hmm. becomes um, complicated for the female dog. So we don't, we actually do not um, recommend that um, mating to a diff to, uh, different sizes. Mm -hmm. And of course, you have to take into consideration the health of the female dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay, because. We have a Spitz at home, and he's very popular with the girls in the neighborhood. And you mga girls, girl dogs in the neighborhood, malalaki. So it's not advisable. Sorry, dog. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. it is not advisable. Lalo na pag mas malaki ang male. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, lalo pag mas malaki ang male. Okay. Yes, yes. Got it. Okay, any other questions? I see, just scrolling them down. Ah, ito. Why do dogs eat grass? Um, basically, yeah, basically, it's out of um, boredom or out of curiosity. They really don't get anything from grass, mm -hmm. and um, usually, it's the it's just a habit, or it's just an um, it's it's just because of boredom. Mm, okay, and the, I saw another. Yeah, to Doctor Masse, is there a negative effect of spaying and neutering? Um. There is no negative effects of spaying and neutering, um, but um, for a responsible pet owner, um, we only recommend spaying and neutering if you cannot control or you, if you cannot control the environment of your dog. Of mm -hmm. course, um, ovarian hysterectomy, which is the spaying, and um, castration, which is the removal of the testicles. Um, we remove uh, a vital um, organ or vital part of the organ. So mm -hmm. um, hormones um, may be lacking in such circumstances. So um, what we are doing for the spaying and neutering is really for the health benefits of it, that um, it will not have um, uh, this, uh, it will not have a reproductive disease when they get older. Um, but um, if you plan to having your pets to be intact, or do not undergo spaying and neutering. It is really no problem as long as you are a responsible pet owner that mm -hmm. um, you will not allow um, accidental pregnancies. Okay, here's another follow up. Ganito actually yung dog ko. Why do dogs spin around before they poop? <laughs> De, ganyan din yung dog. Um, actually. <laughs> uh, yes, um, it's um, it's one of their behavior. They want to mark, or they are still they are just um, sniffing, or sometimes it is territorial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, oh, ganyan din yung dog ko eh. Whenever they bring. Yeah. So this is normal. This is normal. It's normal. What's normal is that ano. If it is having a hard time, or if the frequency of the pooping is uh, more than the usual. Okay. Here is a, a question from Alduin Morale Tolosa to Dr. Mase. What are the other pets aside from dogs or cats have you treated? Me, I specialize in dogs and cats only, but my other veterinarians are capable of treating other animals. Okay. And here, I think one more. Another one. My French bulldog is one year old already. Is it normal that she hasn't got her period yet? Yes, it is still normal. Um, usually some dogs have their first sight heat um, at one and a half. 
some as late as two years of age, so you have nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. But if your dog um, doesn't come into heat until two years of age, that is the best time to ask your veterinarian. Okay. Um, can I go back to the hotel, uh, GM Jot? Do you have any activities for the for your pet guests while they are at the hotel? Yes, thank you so much. Uh, you know what? We do have a meet and greet. Uh, this is something that we did uh, uh, early before the typhoon, and we're planning to bring this back next month. We have a meet and greet for our first ever pet relations officer here in the uh -huh. hotel. Uh, when we transitioned to a pet-friendly hotel, uh, we decided to, you know, to adopt a pet in a local shelter. But while we were doing the planning, um, it was a brilliant idea. We thought that it's better. It is better to rescue one instead. So we found out that there was a warehouse in Cebu City, which was abandoned by their own owners during the pandemic. And there were two English bullies who was abandoned there as well. Unfortunately, a week, just, just a week before we decided to rescue them, uh, one of the siblings passed away because of health reasons. So I think it was the best time for us to really uh, rescue that dog. So we got in touch with the owners. The owners were so, um, they were so supportive of the idea. See, we brought him here. His name mm -hmm. is Phantom. He is an English bulldog who is now our pet relations officer here in Savoy Hotel. Wow, that's he even great. has his own ID. <laughs> he I has his own or, um, uh, Yeah, he has his own ID also. So he's really part of the family. <laughs> so one of our activities that we launched it uh, during Christmas time, we launched it. So there's a meet and greet for our new pet, for our only, for the only, the first pet friend, pet relations officer here in the city. So his name is Phantom. So that's one of our activities. He's there. He's always there from 3 to 5 p.m. on Friday and Saturday at the pool bar. Just for meet and greet and to meet other dogs as well. <laughs> wow. That's that's a small huddle for, yeah, that's a small, small huddle great. for all pets staying for over the weekend. And to meet Phantom as well. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, he's our best employee. <laughs> How much is his uh, no? How much is his salary? So <laughs> eh. <laughs> no, just he gets to eat uh, twice a day. That's it for now. As per his doctor, that's his salary. <laughs> and he gets to stay in the hotel for free. Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> Ang cute naman. Friday and Saturday lang siya. Friday and Saturday, just on the weekend. Hindi siya available sa ibang <laughs> Uh, not for now, not for now. Once we go back to normal operation, but for now, since most of the guest availing of the pet, a pet friendly package is coming on weekends, so that's where mm -hmm. we're arranging the meet and greet and the small huddles for pets on the guests. For now, for now. okay. Yeah, Miss okay. Owen, meron ba kayo? Meron kayo pet relations officers? Ano meron din? As of now, we don't have, but it's a very good idea, GM Jot. I think we <laughs> yeah. have to do it as well in Phoenix Hotel, but. When we first opened our doors um, to for babies, we recognized the first five. We gave them certificates, mm -hmm. and we also gave the for parents overnight stays and spa and massage for them. Mm -hmm. Sana may spa din yung mga pet, <laughs> pet guests natin. <laughs> but actually, there is a pet spa. Oh, Doctor Masi, baka pwede mo i-launch yan sa mga ano. Yeah, <laughs> so, we'll be doing pets. that soon. Yeah, we'll be doing that soon because um, yun nga yung mga needs ng pets natin nowadays have become more uh, demanding and more lucrative. So we are trying our best to, you know, to fulfill our, our, our clients' needs for their pets. Okay, I'll just, meron pa ba tayong questions, Ed? Kung wala na... Para may nakita pa ako ng isa pang question before we go. Kasi Doktora Masay has to run. How to get rid of <laughs> Sorry. Huh? There's a tick infested subdivision. So how do we get rid of it? Wait. Why don't you ask it? Okay, I'll ask this. Sige. Si Bim has a question. Wait. Our ano, diva. There. See, Bim has a question. Hi, so there's, uh, I have a friend who's, um, their subdivision was infected with um, ticks. How can they get rid of this? Where do they go? What, how do they Well, go? first things first, you have to treat the dogs with um, a safe and um, tick and flea prevention. Um, it can be it can be um it can be a pill it can be something that you put on the back i won't say the brand but there are so many available now here in our for a while sorry 
Yes, yeah, so there are so many available products now in the market that um, you can use for tick and flea prevention. And but with an but if it's in a subdivision, um, I think ideally the the premises should also be um, treated as well. And there are many pesticides that are safe for pets. And um, and I would also like to share that. Um, Ticks as, um, can be a carrier of early tetanus. Early tetanus is a very is a very serious um, um, tick-borne disease. So you also have to check your pets for pets for that if they are infested with ticks. Thank you, Doctor Mister. Yeah, you're welcome. One, I think we can entertain one more. One to Maybe two more our speakers have questions. If yeah. they do have their Dogs also, right? Doctor, yeah. Uh, yeah. Here, from Ted Supleo, do dogs or cats usually gain weight after spaying and neut or neutering? Unfortunately, they have that tendency to gain weight after the spaying or neutering. It's because um, they have lesser activities. Because if, um, if a dog or cat is in heat, they they tend to um, have a faster metabolism. But with after spaying and neutering, where where your dogs can become more calm and um relax yes they tend to gain weight but um if you will be able to control the amount of food that they're going to give to them it's not going to be a problem so usually ang nagiging problema is not the dog trying to eat more but us trying to satisfy our dogs by giving more <laughs> <laughs> okay got that yeah. Dr. Ramasek. okay i think yeah, we're yes. running out of time already i'd like to thank you Dr. Ramasek, Ms. owen and a GM job for joining us this morning. Can you also, uh, before we go, can we ask you for your ano, uh, final message, uh, Dr. Mase, to our audience? Um, yes, um, please support our foundation. It is Philippine Pet Birth Control Center Foundation. And if it's, it is one step um, to uplift the animal welfare situation here in the Philippines. And we also would like to I um, reiterate that with rabies still in our country, we cannot um, protect our stray dogs and cats from being euthanized and being impounded. And it is the sad re reality, you know. And um, can you imagine 200 to 300 Filipinas die of rabies every year? And those are only the numbers that are being reported. But for those who do, who do not know how rabies is, um, how rabies, how serious rabies is, um, kawawa naman yung mga ibang tao. So it is not only, it, it, it is our social responsibility to help the government eradicate rabies. And um, we are encouraging everyone to do it humanely by spaying and neutering. Um, we have our trap neuter vaccine return program. Um, you can check out our page for that. Um, we have our spay-neuter bus that goes around the Philippines to do a spay-neuter. We do spay-neuter every day. So um, it is basically a call that we should all be um, into this um, fight against rabies. Um, all animal welfare advocates are really looking forward to a rabies-free Philippines because um, if, we are, if we still have rabies here in our country, there's no way that we can completely protect our dogs and cats here in the Philippines. So please you. support the PPBCC. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Ramase. Uh, GM John. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Addis Bim. Hello again and good morning. You know what? I'm sure you've read of, you've heard of this many times already, that in the past, you, you get, you purchase or adopt a dog to watch over your house. And now people are saying we can't leave our house because nobody's yes. going to watch over our dogs. <laughs> and, it's, and it's happening to a lot of friends, a lot of relatives. But here we are here in Savoy of Mactan, Newtown, the only pet-friendly hotel here in Mactan Island. We're now accepting fur friends since last year. So yeah, the, the, our doors are open. You can avail of any package that you can see in our website and just feel free to call us. There's just a small additional fee for pet fee. Basically, that's it. But you can enjoy it. Uh, you can avail of any package on our website. So there's no reason for you to stay home because nobody's watching over your pet. Bring your pet along. Because I mentioned this early in the morning, and I'm going to say it again now. If you're planning for a perfect getaway, always remember that your best friend needs a vacation too. So tag them along and bring them here to Savoy Hotel Maktan Once again, daghan kayong salamat. Thank you, Dr. Mase. Thank you, Dr. Mase. Thank you, Dr. Mase. Thank you, Dr. Mase. Thank you, Dr. Mase
second salamat. Thank you. Maayong buntag. Maayong buntag. <laughs> What's your final message? Um, Miss Anne, Miss Bim, it is my pleasure joining this webinar and discussing our pet friendly hotel of Twin Lakes Hotel. I hope uh, we can welcome all the fur parents in Twin Lakes Hotel, of course, with your fur babies and create lasting memories. And I hope it will leave pocket in your hearts. Um, with, and of course, your best friend, uh, your fur babies. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Owen. And thank you once again to uh, GM Jot and Dr. Masse. And now we come to the thank most you. awaited portion of the program, the giveaway segment. But Take it away, Bim. I have one uh, last question. Oh, last for question. Dr. You made it yes, yes. You made it. Pasensya na. For Dr. Mase, nakasakit po kasi ang dalawang cats ko. Nilagnat po siya. Walang ganang kumain due to weather na din po siguro. Pero pinainom po po siya ng duya with honey. 1.5 ml. Okay. After two days, bumaling naman po siya. Safe po ba talaga ang home remedies? There are certain, yeah, there are certain home remedies that are safe, like, um, you know, honey and uh, the turmeric. But um, it is, lalo uh, with cats, now, cats are very sensitive. Um, you may think as cats are resilient um, more than dogs, but actually they're more complicated. Their diseases are more complicated. Um, their, um, the, their nutrition is more, um, is more complicated. So, um yun, isa sa mga so isa sa mga responsibility natin as pet owner is we have to acknowledge our capacity to take care of them so it is very important that you can be able to bring your pets or your dogs and cats to, to a veterinarian and kasama yan sa mga five basic freedoms of animals which is access to veterinary care and that is very important Thank you, Dr. Masai. I, I, you know, I don't know where to go first. Do I go to visit Miss Owen or I want Fanto? I want to see Fanto. You don't have your job. I can do your job. I can do your job, sister. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I thank know you. that. Thank you, Dr. Masai. We will Thank will you. Thank you. And thank schedule you. Um, a stay for my pet. I yes, can... anytime, anytime. Okay, okay. Um, so let's start drawing the winners for our very special prizes. Are you ready? Are you all ready? So the first winner will receive overnight stay at Savoy Mactan Hotel, Newport. Wow, Sir Jot. Pwede niya ma-meet si, si Fanto. I'm so in deep. Anytime. No, Saya was able to meet him the last time you were here. Oh, I know. Next time. Next time. A reason Next time. for you to come visit Cebu again. I will. Yeah. Thank you, GM. So let's raffle, yes, yes. Sir Ed, the first winner for, okay, one overnight Savoy Hotel, Makta, Newport. Newtown. 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 I, okay, it's Newtown. I'm so sorry. Sorry, kanina pa kami nakakamali. Nakakamali ito sila. Sorry. Newtown. Newtown. Nakawain na ako ni Nico. Sorry, Nico. <laughs> it's JP Australia. Congratulations. Please bring your pet. And have pictures with Fanto. Fanto. Phantom daw. <laughs> okay. See you soon, JP. <laughs> and the next winner is for Unlimited Dim Sum. Okay. It's for two packs at Chin Tian B Restaurant at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Congratulations, Beverly Jane Sarona. Another winner for one Winford Hotel and Casino F&B gift certificate worth 2,000 pesos. Congratulations, Carol Calderon Castillo. And one more Winford Hotel and Casino F&B gift certificate for 2,000 pesos. There you go. Congratulations, Marilyn Ramoran. So before we go, we are also, oh, okay. We'll share with you the 10 winning um, entries for the photos of you and your pet. 
The first winner is Candice Ayanoa Nikdao. Akala ko ako yan. Oh, <laughs> it's you, Miss Anne. It's your spiel. I'm sorry. Okay, it's your turn. Kasi, Congratulations. Kasi kasama ka dito. Eh. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, si Chinese character Millet ito eh. Yan. Congratulations, Millet. Ay, narinig ko siya. <laughs> and then we have Candice Ayanoa Nikdao. Yan, yan si Candice. Congratulations. And then we have Samantha Nicole Gonzaga. Ay, hindi ito. Anyway, see, si, I'll just go through it na lang. Crix R. Garbida. Rosie, yan si, ano, Samantha Nicole Gonzaga. And then we have Rosie Nunez Palmiano. I think she won kanina. Yan. And then we have Cherry Al. Almalves, Diana Rosie Pilac, okay. Julia Mundo, Bautista Irene, and wala nang iba kundi si Bim Mauricio. Of course, I'm in Yan si Bim Mauricio, kasama din siya dyan as a winner. Okay. Thank you. If you Have find our episode yeah. today very helpful, kindly share it with your families and friends. It means so much to all of us here at Business Mirror. So we can continue to do this program and bring you more value to your work, your business, your life, and family. Again, please hit like, subscribe, and follow the Business Mirror Facebook page and YouTube channels. The links are also in the description below. This has been Business Mirror's Coffee Club. I'm Anne Ruth De La Cruz. Until next time, have a pleasant Wednesday, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, GM. Thank you, GM. Thank you, Ms. Owen. Thank you so much. Have a good morning. Thank you. Thank you.
Introducing Happy Life Organics, a leading pet care brand. Happy Life Organics offers natural, organic, all-natural plant-based pet products. Like waterless shampoo, a easy, fast-to-use, on-the-go, hassle-free pet shampoo. No water needed, just spray on, lather, and wipe. 2-in-1 pet shampoo and conditioner, double-acting, naturally moisturizing, cleansing, soothing, and insect repelling. Pet Home Cleanser Did you know that using bleach can be fatal to our pets? Worry no more! Pet Home Cleanser is a safer, plant-based alternative to clean any pet areas, cages, toys, and other things. It effectively disinfects and removes any pet odors and insects at bay. Pet Spray It's your quick go-to plant solution for our pets to safely eliminate ticks, fleas, odor, and any itching they may have. Perfect for the before and after walks. Pet Neem Soap contains the active neem ingredient, a medicated soap that has antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties.